Hello and welcome back to another really raw, authentic and intense week in my life as a college student. This time I was actually practicing for my state exam in gymnastics and acrobatics which took up most of my time as well as physical energy and sometimes emotional stability. <laughs> Even though it was super exhausting, I had a great time this semester and I really wanted to share that in a week in my life. This video is a little bit longer and more in-depth because I just really wanted to show you what has been going on in my life for the past six months. So yeah, enjoy. I hope you have as much fun watching this as I had practicing my handsprings and walkovers. So let's go! We are starting off right into Monday morning by biking to university for my first class at 8 a.m., which was the time that most of my classes for that semester started at. As you might know and are definitely going to see in this video, I spent most of my time at university on the sports campus, which is where I acquire my physical education degree. There, we also have our own cafeteria run by some of my fellow students, one of whom I offered my bike and help preparing to because he forgot to buy something, and spoiler alert, he made my tire go flat because he was too heavy. Anyway, right after that I had another class which I usually spend reorganizing my notion for the week which essentially consists of deleting all my old tasks and assigning new ones I have to the days of the week. After a little study sesh, it was right into acrobatics, which along with gymnastics was my main focus this semester. And this is the trick that we tried to learn that session. It was so fun, honestly. And we also tried out some other ones and rehearsed our choreo to the point of where we had created it so far. <laughs> Hello, let me bring you a little bit closer. 
Hello, I am so sorry for the lighting. It's super dark and super yellow, but it's just, it's like not even 5 p.m. and it's completely dark outside. So you, we're just gonna have to deal with the winter blues, with the winter darkness, because it, the quality is not gonna get better, unfortunately. Today was really fun. I, we really had a great session with the acrobatics. A lot of stuff was working out really well and we did our choreo that we have up until now we did the full go and it was working really well which is amazing so that's great but my back is definitely hurting you're gonna hear this a lot I, I generally have like spots that hurt all over my body at any given time because gymnastics is hard <laughs> like really really hard on the body but yeah other than that it was really cool really fun I am now actually going to stay in my disgusting little workout clothes because we want to go to the sauna in a little bit it was just currently grocery shopping i am going to get some work done do a little bit of youtube do a little bit of university stuff and then we are going to go into the sauna and just chill relax sweat and then probably just go home and go straight to bed like that's the plan for today let's get some work done i obviously won't be able to take you into the sauna but maybe you'll see a little something something also oh my god so cute my hibiscus now for the first time in like months actually has a little blossom look how beautiful isn't that so pretty i love her she's so cute let's go <laughs> morning happy tuesday i just made my porridge as you saw and i just add a bunch of stuff onto there and it's honestly my favorite breakfast ever because it's obviously super nutritious and it helps me be saturated for super long because the oats are just laying on your stomach forever and i just really add so much stuff like i have like coconut flakes almond flakes chia seeds some other seeds that i don't know the english name of but that will be on the screen right now apples usually there's bananas in there my homemade peanut butter it's just all mixed in there honey or maple syrup as a sweetener lots of cinnamon and it's just so good i can literally just like eat this every single day it's so so good and i usually don't have the time in the morning because i take so long getting ready i don't know i just washing my face washing my body brushing my teeth it just takes so long and you kind of need to speed it up because i want to eat this every morning but i kind of can't and tuesday is kind of the only day in the week that i have uni at a later hour other than 8 a.m in the morning so yeah to the limbo stuck here in the middle you tell me that it's simple but i could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong but if we turn the clocks back a couple dials we should throw them out because time ain't as well but 
The lighting is so bad, but you know what? The good news is it's gonna stay bad all winter. <laughs> I just wanted to share a little experience that I've just had. I was listening to Skinny Dipping this morning and they were talking about like, not anger management, but like how situations that happen to you, you cannot really change them, but you can only change the reaction you have to them. And then in the podcast, they also said like, when you're listening to this, probably there's gonna be a situation come up in the next like couple of days where that is exactly what's gonna happen. And you can like see how you react and see if you've learned any from it. And I was like, okay, interesting. And then I went to gymnastics practice and I got there and I did have an appointment with one of my professors because more so of like administrative tasks, things. It was like right in the middle of my training session because that's when she has like free slot. It was supposed to be on Zoom and I couldn't find the Zoom link anywhere and I asked her for it like half an hour earlier and she didn't see that mail. So it was like a big old miscommunication moment. But then I went into the gymnast, what is it? Like gymnastic hall? I don't know. But I went into there and I was like cold obviously so I had to warm up a little bit that's fine like whatever just get back into it and like you'll work it out later and then my foot weirdly enough and it still is felt like it was kind of like blocking I felt like I couldn't really flex this as far as I could the other foot so I was like this feels really weird and now I'm completely cold again I only have like 40 more minutes and I'm not in the mindset to like get back into it so basically with that intermission I kind of want to say ruined both of my things that I wanted to do like I ruined the call and I kind of ruined the gymnastics session. For a second, I was like, fucking hell, like I was so mad. And then I remember back to the podcast from this morning, I was like, you cannot currently change anything. I know it's annoying, but there's nothing you can change. So why would you want to freak out? Also, I'm on PMS, which is a big deal for me. I was like, okay, just like breathe through it. It's fine, you know, whatever. And I managed to do that. And I it took a shower to cool off. Definitely did. Yay. I learned a lesson. I learned my lesson today. It was really interesting. And I just wanted to share because, you know, sometimes life just doesn't go to plan. And like, those were obviously my minor things but in that moment it's like it just annoys you so bad that's just what i wanted to share also i'm having a little shift made ricotta pasta situation because i'm just starving as i always am we're probably gonna have a big dinner together Making hummus myself is one of my favorite things to do in the kitchen because we put it on everything. It's a great source of protein and fiber and just tastes incredible. It's also super easy to make. You combine the chickpeas along with their juice that's in the can, lemon juice, cold water, tahini, garlic, and olive oil into a blender and blitz it. If you want to have a more extensive tutorial, I will have one on my Instagram soon. Wednesday morning starts off with Spanish class, which is a non-mandatory course I took just to learn the language, which was honestly so much fun and made me feel very accomplished throughout the semester. Then lunch on campus and right into our acrobatics class, where that day we were challenged to juggle while being in a static acrobatic pose, which as you're gonna see, we had so much fun with and most of the time we were just rolling around laughing. Oh, 
And after that, we were dealing with inclusion of disabled kids into our lesson, which is an integral part of our education and to which we are encouraged to a lot. For this exercise, we ourselves were put into the position of disabled kids. So as you can see, one of us has his arm bound, one cannot see, one has no legs or at least pretends to have no legs, one has earplugs in to stimulate deafness and I could not speak. It was an important lesson to be handicapped like that and experience what it is like and how much more time, commitment and communication is needed from every part of the group. After we presented our little choreo, I drove to another gym that is just for practicing gymnastics and worked on my handspring, high beam parts and bar choreo. Um, we have the classic Luisa special a la mm. Maltesle. Yeah. No vegetables, no nothing. Just, just blank. Just pure goodies. Yum. At home, I just finished off my work and then enjoyed my evening with Luis, playing the uke, snuggling, and watching a movie.
Even though this was my most stressful semester yet and I was regularly going to bed at 9 p.m. because I was so exhausted, we, Luis and I made sure that we took time out of our weeks to have special evenings like this and to just connect and bond without, you know, any media, generally speaking. So this was really special and it was just a lovely time and if you haven't spent an evening without any media in a long time i definitely encourage you to do it because it really does the best for the soul you want to ride on my wave just because it's fun you want to be in my space too close to the sun don't seem to care if it's safe well that makes two of us i'm so insane so insane and you like it but you haven't seen anything yet now you're just beginning your trip to regrets you might think you know me but soon you forget i'm too insane too insane and you know it you got to learn to like me again and again But you haven't seen all of me yet Now I'm just beginning your work in progress You might think you know me but soon you forget I'm too insane, too insane and you know it I just come back from university and today on Thursday is my fullest day. I have uni from 8 in the morning until 7 at night and I go home only right after the first gymnastics session just to have a solid meal and reset, put all my stuff together because I don't want to be at university 11 hours a day. That's a little bit extreme. Morning was really well. It worked out really, really nicely. The tumbling was great. It was so much fun and I can definitely feel my body though. Like it's definitely, it has done some work, you know? So I'm just going to have some food and then basically go back to uni, pack my stuff 
funny. Leaf. <laughs> For lunch, I'm having the easiest little thing, which is just cut up tomatoes and paprika, as well as freshly cooked pasta with the self-made hummus as a sauce. And this is honestly so good. Like, this takes zero <coughs> effort if you have the hummus ready, and it's really yummy. Freshly cracked pepper, maybe, or a squeeze of lemon. My hummus has a lot of lemon, so I won't do that. Maybe some basil leaves, whatever you fancy, and you're good to go. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm picking up, now I'm picking up. By the cottage in the blues, yeah. I wanna try myself inside the juice, yeah. My acrobatic partner and I, his name is Nick, actually worked out so well together and most of the things that we attempted basically worked out really, really well, really fast. But this whole part, this whole acro yoga kind of section that we did have to include into our choreo was so difficult for us. So I don't know why, but this was definitely the most difficult part of it. And you can see here that we had a long session of just that, <laughs> trying to figure out how it works for us, how it's going to work out what exact poses and exercises we wanted to do and even though this was also obviously a lot of fun this was definitely the most annoying part of the whole thing but yeah here you go watching us fail for a little bit <laughs> Hello, I just got home and on my way home I had my first little road bicycle accident and it, it's not too bad obviously, you know, I'm well. <laughs> my knees just hurt so bad, I'm gonna check them out in a second. Basically I just head on smashed together with one of those like electric scooter things. I was driving super fast and it was definitely both of our fault but I just head on smashed into him and they have these like like things like these poles in front of them so i just smacked into the metal and like flew over my bike and just basically landed with like my hands unfortunately i did have gloves on little gloves on so my hands are fully intact and i just landed with my hands and my knees first into the concrete and they hurt quite bad let's see if i don't know if you can tell my chargers are completely dirty don't know what my knees look like okay actually oh my god dude it hurts a lot 
but they actually don't look that bad. There's nothing really torn open. Just a little bit, maybe. And I think the trousers are still intact, but they hurt so bad. I think there's gonna be, like, hopefully only a little swelling. And then, like, on the kneecap. Oh, you can already see a huge hump on the left knee where the blood is already rushing in. Oh, ouch. Oh, my God, that's not cool. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a shower and relax. <laughs> Try to sleep with the TV on, but it was the one that I can't turn on. Sam and Diane get together again, but they part no. me and I hate that ending. I think that I get what you meant, I still can't see. And lastly, I wanted to include this just for funsies. I basically have to pass an exam in skiing because part of our education in Germany is also going to a ski camp and that obviously you need to be prepared for as a physical education teacher. So this was kind of like our practice round before we actually went on the ski trip, which was a full week of just skiing and a little bit of snowboarding. And yeah, that was it. It was really fun. It was really difficult. I learned a lot though. So that was definitely great and that was what my my weekend looked like for the most part.